Hello and welcome to the 10th lesson of our WordPress Beginner to Advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on. So, so far we have covered almost everything you need to know as a complete beginner on WordPress about the backend, about the dashboard and all the functionalities, themes plugins etc etc throughout our previous lessons and we need few more videos to get into that step like we are going to create complete website we are going to start creating complete website so without further ado let me give you some information regarding this specific video of what you are going to learn from this video we are going to cover information about the user roles like on wordpress there are a few user rules like administrator, editor, contributor, subscriber, and a few more maybe. So let me just show you the user rules and let me explain like which person will be able to do what types of modification, what, type of, what types of changes on a WordPress website. So let me take you back on our WordPress dashboard. And after that, if you notice these plugins, if I, sorry, not plugins, if you notice these users, you are going to find all users. From where you'll be able to find all the users currently added to this specific WordPress website. And then with add new button, we'll be able to add a new user to our WordPress website for any purpose. And then we have got this profile section from where we'll be able to make changes on our own profile as the WordPress backend user. So let me take you to all users from here. And after that, as you can see, we have got my name, Rafi and I'm the only person here on this website, my email address, my role, which is currently administrator, and so far I have made six posts on this website. So as an administrator, I'll be able to make whatever change I'd love to make on the WordPress site. I'll be able to customize everything of the website. I'll be able to add themes, change themes. I'll be able to customize the theme. I'll be able to add widgets. I'll be able to create menus, remove menus, whatever I want with these settings and as an administrator i'll be able to add other users to this wordpress website so let me show you and explain few more things about the user rules so if i click on add new button from here i'll be able to use or sorry add new users on our wordpress site so as you can see username is required so i'm going to type out something let's say new uh, user just as an example you can provide whatever is your name it uh, would you love to add okay and then the email address is required so i'm actually going to type out a fake email address here so let's say new user email at dot com just a fake email address doesn't matter because this is just for the demonstration purpose and then you can put this this user's name here if you know the name obviously you'll know so i let's let's say i want to add a name here uh, Rajan and then let's say um, Hamim just an example and if the user have a website you can add the website other than that it's totally fine to skip you can even skip these options as well and then from password they are recommending us to add a strong password and I would recommend you to add a strong password when you will work on a real website when you are going to add a person on a real website but as this is just for the demonstration I'm going to create a an, an weak password here so ASDFG this is my password and just as you can see we are getting this notification very weak and after that confirm password we are going to click on confirm use of weak password okay and after that we have got this option send user notification so if we keep this one checked whenever we are going to click on this add new user our new user will receive an email to this email address like they have been assigned with the with a specific rule on this website okay so we can simply uncheck this one as this is just for the demonstration or we can check this as well because we have got this um fake email address so doesn't matter and from here as you can see currently it is selected to as the rule as subscriber but you can select from other options as well as well other than administrator we have got editor rule author rule contributor rule and subscriber rule let me explain all of these rules so if i click on editor here and let's click on add new user 
you are going to find like we have got as of now two users on our WordPress website. So one is administrator, another one is editor, which I have just assigned. Now let me take you in a new incognito mode here. And if I visit our web page from here, WP admin, if I provide the information, let me just make it smaller. Okay, so I have you added this username here. So let me type out new user and then the password I have entered what was ASDFG. And if I click on login, just take a look. As an administrator, I have got so many options available there comparing to this these options available. So as an administrator, as an administrator, I'll be able to do whatever I want to do, but as an editor, I'll have some limitations. And same way other user based or other users with other rules are going to get these limitations as well. I'm going to show you. Okay. So if I take you into this dashboard page, just take a look. We have got some difference already on dashboard. We have got home page and then the update section. So as an administrator, I'll be able to make the updates available here on our WordPress website. But as an editor, I won't be able to make the changes. Then we have got posts, media, pages, comments, contact. These options are available here. Posts, as an editor, I'll be add a new post on our WordPress website. I'll be able to modify any existing posts. So if I click here, just take a look, we are seeing this edit, quick edit, trash, view, and then I'll be able to add media. If I take you to the library, let's click here. I'll be able to delete this media permanently as well as an editor, but with other rules, we won't be able to do this. So if I take you here on pages, I'll be able to add new pages. I'll be edit our previous pages. Just take a look, we have got this add new button right here and we'll be able to create new pages as we have created earlier. So let me take you back to the dashboard. And after that, just take a look in our editor or sorry, administrator rule, we have got appearance from where we'll be able to make the changes on the theme. We'll be able to customize the theme. We'll be add widgets, plugins and other stuffs. But with an editor rule, we, we don't have the access. We don't have the permission or the ability, right? So just take a look. We have got appearance plugins here and users also here but in this editor rule we don't have these options so basically an editor will be able to create pages modify previous pages and editor will be able to create new posts modify previous posts other than that they have got nothing to do they will be able to add um, media as well and if they go to if i take you to the comments page they are yeah they are going to be able to make changes on comments as well they'll be able to reply on comments they will be able to approve and unapprove or mark a comment as spam as well if they find it um, to do find it as the best option to do okay so let me take you dashboard again and if i show you the profile from profile section this user will be able to make changes on his own profile from tools Whenever we are hovering over here on the tools, we are going to see some options. But if I hover over here, this uh, editor is not going to be able to find these options. And if I click here, just take a look, we have got a blank page, right? So these are the limitations of an ad editor on a WordPress website. Now, if I show you the difference with other rules from here, if I click on this edit, so you'll be able to add as many users as you want on a WordPress website. But to save the time, I'd love to edit the page uh, rule from here for this user and then I'll be demonstrating. So let me click on edit from here. And after that, let's change the rule to author. And let me take you back and update the user. If I reload this page here, just take a look, we are going to have some more limitations. As you can see, and currently I'm seeing only the posts available, but no pages available, which we had with our um, editor rule. Okay, so with author rule, we don't have the page option. Now as an as an author, I'll be able to add new posts, simple as we were been able to do with the administrator and editor. But as you can see on this existed post, we won't be able to make any changes. We just will be able to view the existed post, but we don't have the ability to delete this post to customize this post if needed. Okay. And then we have got this comment section. If you just notice, we don't have this reply button. We don't have the approve, disapprove buttons as well. So here we are again limited 
access. Now from profiles, I'll be able to make the change to my own profile as let's say as the author. Then I have got this tool which is blank, but I'll be able to use this contact to create a new contact form if I need. Oh, okay, so I won't be able to create a new contact with uh, this rule which is author, but with the editor rule, I will be able to create a new form here. But with author rule, I'll be able to make some adjustment by clicking on edit, right? So now let me just take you back here again and I'm going to change the rule to from author, let's go to contributor, you are going to get some more limitations. So let me click here on update user. If I reload this page, if I take you to posts, yes, we'll be able to make add new post. But again, we won't be able to make any change on comments. We won't be able to reply. And from uh, from our contact form plugin, we'll be able to make a little adjustment. Okay, so just take a look. Actually, we won't be able to make the adjustment. You are not allowed to edit this contact form. We are not going to be able to make the changes but we'll be able to see what are the forms available here as an um, contributor here but with it with the contributor rule we'll only be able to make posts make new posts on our uh, wordpress website and one thing let me show you a although we'll be able to make posts but it is not going to be directly published on our wordpress website so as an example if i click on add new and if i type out like um, hello world just an example and if i click on publish instead of publish button you are going to find this option submit for review so let's click on submit for review and as an administrator i i am an administrator of this website if i take you to the post section you are going to find that rajan hamim is currently editing this post which is in pending for my approval to get added to our wordpress website so these are the limitations you are going to see the difference between uh, the users like administrator and other users if i take you back to the users and let's talk about the list uh, list functionalities or list access based user rule which is subscriber as a subscriber a person will be able to make minor changes like the profile changes if i reload this page here and just take a look i am just being able to see the dashboard no other accessibilities then i'll be able to make the changes on my profile uh, if i need i can simply add hi my name is dot 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 and i do dot 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 so these are the information what i'll be able to add i'll be able to make the changes here as well on my username etc and then i'll be able to make the changes on this layout okay or the backend um, view admin color shape and then i'll be able to change my name first name last name nickname okay but the username will be the same okay and then i'll be able to change the contact info i'll be able to change the email address i'll be at the website and i'll be able to add my profile picture as well and to add a profile picture on a wordpress website we use grabbatter so by using this email you have to create an account so if i show you the example here is grabbatter simply visit this page from this link and then click on this create your own grabbatter you are going to find the options to provide your email address um okay your email address choose a username create a password and then sign into your account then upload your image and it is going to take your profile picture directly from gravatar into your wordpress website so if i show you here from all users if i if you just notice here i have got this image automatically came from my gravatar profile which i have used or created with this email address all right guys so this was it about the wordpress user rules explanation i believe i was able to explain everything to you so easily and i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video and the complete course with your friends through your social media sites like facebook twitter instagram or whatever um, platform you are using and subscribe to my channel help your friends learn from me suggest my channel to them as well and let's grow together i have to see you in the next video and i'm so excited because we are almost there to start creating our beautiful fully functional websites using wordpress and elementor so thank you so much for watching this one and i have to see you in the next lesson have a good day